Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday, which means a new video, and today we're back with a what if video, and I really like this one, so I hope you guys do too. So this what if video can go by either two titles. It can be what if Lucian took over the next step, or what if Elite won the battles um, for the internationals team, because both would happen as a result of each other. We're literally just gonna get into this. Before we start, make sure you subscribe if you're not already because this many people like to watch my what if videos but they still aren't subscribed. So make sure you subscribe if you're not. Like this video if you're enjoying it. Comment down below your thoughts as we go along. And let's get started. This video also might be quite long so you might wanna get a snack or something. Um, yeah, just pretend I'm basically an episode of TNS and you're watching an episode via my voice, like an audiobook. It's an audiobook of the next step. So to start off the battles, I would switch it a little bit to being that they have to do a full elite dance versus a full next step dance before they get up on the way with the solos. So the next step would go first, as obviously it's their studio, um, and they do a big group dance, and then elite would do their make the ground shake routine, um, and that would just automatically put in everyone's mind that elite does have a very good chance of winning these battles. Um, I just think it would have been good to, if we saw the next step all dance together as well as seeing Elite all dance together and if they perform for one another. Um, so after all the battles take place, I would have kept pretty much all of them the same, um, but my final age group would be Michelle, Eldon, Noah, Sierra, West, Max, even though that I think Michelle should have won, but I need Elite to have the majority, so we'll keep it as Max. Um, Riley, Chantel, Jen, Talia, Amanda, and Daniel, which would mean that they both have six dancers on each side, but like I said, the big group dances at the beginning, they would have had to do a um, unbiased vote of whose group dance was better and Elite would have won with Make the Ground Shake. So Elite wins overall with their solos and their group dance, which means Lucien is also the studio head of the next step. Um, I figured that he would own the studio, but he'd keep Kate and Phoebe there more to just annoy them. Um, and they'd need the job still, so they stay at the next step, um, but Lucian is like their authoritative figure. He'd also encourage the people that lost out in their battles to join B Troop. Um, so instead of Stephanie being the one to kind of ask Sierra and Skylar to join, no, Skylar to join B Troop along with Abby and Shannon, um, Lucian would tell them to go on B Troop. Overall, he just wants more elite energy at the next step. So they then do an opening dance as its new age group, exactly the same as they do, um, but it'd be very exhausting. And we'd see that everyone is now wearing like white, gray and black clothes, the same as Elite does. It would be just a little tiny example of how Lucian is changing the next step. Riley would tell Lucian about her dentist appointment to have her braces taken off. And Lucian would say that if she goes, then she's out of the running to do uh, Miss National Soloist because he hasn't picked that yet. No, Miss International Soloist. He wants Michelle ideally, but she, he already knows that with her, um, her parents' divorce and moving around and stuff, she's probably not a viable candidate for that. Um, so he says to Riley, if you go to the dentist instead of being in class, you're not going to be able to do the solo. Um, and Riley will be like, well, she needs to get her braces off, so she has to go, um, but she's out of the running. Sierra would still suggest that they do duets to bring the dancers together and get rid of this void between Elite and the next step. I like that. That is a great idea, Sierra. Um, Lucian wouldn't really care for it that much because he's a bit like Chantal. He doesn't think they need to work together in order to be just good dancers and perform well on stage. Um, but So he'd give that responsibility to Kate and Phoebe and tell them to manage it. So the pairings would be Noah and Sierra, West and Max, Chantal and Talia, Alden and Daniel, and then Amanda would be overlooked and she doesn't have anyone to go with because Riley isn't there. Um, and Phoebe would probably make a little comment about how she already knows enough about Elite and the next step and she doesn't think it'd be a good idea for her to like learn more. I don't know, just something that would be a snide comment about her past and how she's basically been on both teams and betrayed both of them. Right now I'm dancing a solo because I don't feel like I'll ever belong anywhere. I thought that the drama would be left behind. I thought that they would trust me, but some way, somehow, the drama keeps following me. So when Riley comes back from the dentist, she try and get back on Lucian's good side by finding out some things about him, just getting to know him a bit more as a person, because, you know, Riley's this person who always wants to see the positives in everybody. She doesn't think anyone can do any wrong. Um, so she'd try and find something good about Lucian and just get in his good books again, which he, like, appreciates, and he probably would pile loads and loads of work on Riley's shoulders and just get her to do everything that he doesn't want to do. Um, Michelle would then return from Madison, is it? 
Um, and she'd see that obviously Lucian won as he's the studio owner and all of the elite dancers have now joined the next step. The next steps are wearing grey and black clothing. Um, and she kind of blames herself because she counted as an elite win. So she didn't the elite wouldn't have won yeah so michelle would blame herself basically um and that would just add to her worries that she has in season three lucian would say that they need to pick a dance captain and he would say that he's going to pick Chantel. um but tns would reject that and say that they want to be able to vote on the dance captains so the dancers have an input so Riley and Alden would both nominate themselves to be dance captain. Um, Michelle doesn't want it because of her responsibilities and everything. She doesn't feel like she can be dedicated to the role. So Riley and Alden would step up and want to do it against Chantel. So Lucien tells them that it's just going to be Chantel and Riley because he doesn't trust Alden. He thinks that he doesn't have a brain in his head um, enough to be dance captain, which people would probably laugh at and Alden would be a bit like... Um, can you take me seriously, please? Um, so it would be just between Riley and Chantel for Dance Captain. The same way they, they do in the episode, there'd be a contemporary group and a hip hop group, um, and Riley would struggle the same way that Giselle does. Um, so she would get advice from Michelle, which I think would be even nicer because Riley and Michelle are best friends. And then when it comes down to voting, uh, Lucien would have to have the deciding vote because even though Michelle picks Riley to be the dad captain, um, Chantal was dis would dispute it and say, Lucien, you have to pick, thinking that he's going to pick her, but he'd agree that Riley was the better dance captain. So then Riley is made the dance captain of season three's A Troop. So in the next episode, we'd see Chloe still teaching baby ballet, even though she's not on A Troop anymore. Um, she'd say in probably a talking head that she's saving up so she could be a bit more financially independent. So she still needs to work, even though she's not dancing at the next step anymore. I figured that Chloe's plot could be a B plot to the main one, which I'll explain in a minute. And during that, Margie would tell her that nothing is ever permanent and that she needs to kind of, if she wants something, she should just go for it because she can tell that she is really missing dancing and being on YouTube again. So Chloe would go up to the office and basically say to Kate, Phoebe and Lucian that she wants another chance to be on YouTube again. But then the next episode, Lucian would be secretly assessing everybody because he's trying to work out who should be the alternate, um, who should be in each routine. Um, so the episode would start with everyone doing planks, they're all sweating, um, it, they've obviously been there for absolutely ages. Chloe is back in rehearsal in Chantal's place, oh yeah, because Chantal walked out exactly the same as she did before. So Lucien said yes to Chloe joining and she is now in Chantal's place on the team. Kate would then bring Lucien, his male, and he'd see that he has an invitation from La Ballet de la Reine to nominate some of his dancers to audition for their touring company. And he'd be like, yes, this is a great opportunity. Like if we can get some of my dancers in such a professional company, that would really boost my name and reputation as a, um, studio owner so he says right guys we're going to do ballet today we're going to do a good class i want chloe to lead it because he knows that chloe is a really good ballet ballerina ballerina um and daniel would also ask to help and but lucian brushes him off because i like the idea that lucian only brought daniel onto elite to kind of wind up kate and phoebe um and now that they've successfully taken over the studio he doesn't really care for him anymore so he'd get chloe to lead the session and everybody is basically doing ballet he'd also call it beach it because he wants literally everyone to get to a good enough level that he can say yep they're my dancer and even if one of the b troopers is good enough to go to this audition then he wants them to go so the b troop would come up a troop would be there and everyone would be doing ballet led by chloe riley would be a bit confused as to why she isn't leading the ballet class like she knows she's not a ballerina but surely as dance captain she should be leading or at least helping chloe lead the class so she'd ask lucian um what she should be doing as dance captain because she hasn't done it before uh and lucian would be like well shouldn't you know that as dance captain and he'd write that down as well so then riley's like oh great now i've been written on the list would b troop join a troop in studio a rochelle would realize that riley is the dance captain like maybe she'd overhear that conversation with riley and lucian um and she'd also hear that riley doesn't really know what to do so that would give her the idea that she would pass on the dance captain diary to riley in this ballet class daniel would be shining even though obviously he didn't get the chance to lead it like he initially wanted he'd be at the front of the class doing everything he'd be on chloe's level completely he'd be issuing like support and asking questions he'd just be really loving the environment and he'd say in his talking heads 
that since he went to Juilliard in season two, um, he really enjoyed it there and he thrives in a non-competitive environment. Like he loves just working on his personal skills and becoming the best dancer he can be. He's kind of losing the, the joy in competitive dance. Elton and Wes could also then have their competition about whether Wes will make it onto the tour or not. Um, so that could happen the same, except Elton would see directly whether Wes has made progress. If it's so easy to master ballet, then you should have no problem landing a role. I'll have no problem at all. Just as long as I don't have to be the nutcracker because, you know, I'm opposed to violence. And Noah would still try to impress Abby, but obviously they're in Studio A together now instead of being in the music room. Once the ballet class is over, Lucian would come out and just be making notes and he'd say that he's choosing Chloe, Abby, Daniel and Noah to go to the audition. He criticises Eldon and says that he dances too stiff. And obviously Eldon is a bit like, whoa, sir. And West would laugh at him. Uh, but then West put it put up his hand and say to Lucian, um, can I go to the audition too? I think this would be really good for my dance career to make myself a bit more well-rounded. And Lucian would laugh at him and be like, no, sir. Um, but then Wes would be like, hey, if you do this though, it'll look like you're like a really good with charity and you want your weakest dancers to be young the best they could be. And Lucian agrees, like this would be great for his reputation. So he's like, yeah, West, off you go. You can go with them. So we go to the audition and the episode would be the same how both West and Chloe make it through multiple rounds. Daniel would also do really, really well, as would Abby and Noah. Um, but ultimately, Chloe would be the one who gets in exactly the same. The episode would end though with Rochelle giving Riley the dance Captain Diary and I think this could be such a wholesome scene because Rochelle is obviously really happy to get it but it's only been like one episode since she got it that she's having to give it away so she'd be scribbling stuff in really really fast and then Riley would walk in and she'd be like oh hey Riley um this is for you um yeah it's just really nice and it'd be even nicer if Rochelle was later given it back uh, by Emily because you know we don't see the dance captain diary for a while um, so it would just be nice if she's one day reunited with the dance captain diary. So in episode 11 Lucian would ask Riley and Alden to lead the J Troop class because Riley's the dance captain and Alden is the best male dancer in his eyes on the team um, but Riley has to help Aunt Kathy with the wedding so Lucian asks Riley if she's actually dedicated and because every time he asks her to do something she has something else planned so Riley would basically say that dance isn't her whole life um and that she does like to balance it with other things so Lucian would say fine whatever and he chooses Talia to lead the class instead with Elden and that means that the plot can happen the same but this would also cause Lucian to rethink Elden as dance captain because obviously initially he brushed him off for not being serious enough but it turns out Riley isn't that serious as he thought he was either so at the end of the episode after leading the J Troop class the same um, Lucian would say to Elden you're going to be the new dance captain which would be even more infuriating for the dance captain diary because it's been passed around again instead of the Elden and Talia pirouette thing with five pirouettes Elden would instead be trying to show that he is mature enough to be dance captain because after the announcement to everyone Everyone just kind of doubts it and don't think it's a good idea. So he tries to get to 30 pirouettes to prove that he's a hard worker, he has endurance, and that if he puts his mind to something, he can do it. I just think this is a more mature way to do it rather than James telling him he can't be with the girl that he likes because he isn't at 30 pirouettes yet. It just could have been a bit more mature overall, that plot could have. James also isn't on a trip yet either, um, so that's why Eldon would have to take it upon himself to say that he's going to do 30 pirouettes to prove that he is hard working and stuff like that. Um, so Chloe would announce that she is going on the Ballet de la Reine tour. I've been offered a position under La Ballet de la Reine for the Nutcracker touring company. Oh what? Uh, and Lucian would be really, really happy for her, but even more so for his reputation. He knows that he needs to now get another age trooper to replace Chloe though, so he starts making a viable list of all the people that he would consider. He has to go to a meeting though, so he leaves Kate in control and in charge, and also tells her that he trusts her to pick the alternates today. So everyone is like, oh my gosh, like first Lucian was writing this list of people and uh, weighing up their pros and cons, and now Kate's having to pick the alternates. So there's a lot of stress happening in the studio. I'd get rid of the Jiley anniversary plot because I just felt like it was a bit unnecessary for them to do everything in the studio um, and that they could have probably done that anniversary outside the studio um, and I just need a bit more time for my plot so I'd get rid of that as a plot point and also because James isn't back on A-Troop yet it'd be unrealistic that he would be hanging around so much 
So instead of the Jaili anniversary plot, Riley will be down in the music room trying to improve her skills, specifically her acro skills, because obviously she's just had Dance Captain taken off her and Lucian isn't taking her seriously and doesn't think she's dedicated. And she knows that she'll, she is at risk of becoming the alternate because she isn't as well-rounded as other dancers on the team. So she'll be working on her acro in the music room. Amanda will go down and work with Riley in the music room and they'd both help each other with their acro skills and becoming more well-rounded. Riley would also write her feelings in the Dance Captain Diary this episode and prepare herself to give it to Alden. Um, and at the end of the episode, Kate would make the decision that Amanda is actually going to be the alternate. Um, even though it'd be kind of hyped up that Riley is at big risk of becoming it, Kate would choose Amanda without asking Lucian. You're not going to be featured in the internationals routines. Episode 14 would still be the auditions to replace Chloe and Lucian has picked Rochelle, Skylar, Abby and Shannon uh, and also James. Which surprises everyone because James isn't even on B Troop let alone like yeah it was just a completely random pick but james knows no lucian knows that the final round at internationals if there is a tie will be a duet and he can't think of any potential duets that might have really good chemistry um but he knows that riley and james could win that for them so he kind of wants james to come back on the team just in case they need to compete in the tiebreaker round which would obviously then foreshadow if he had said this in the talking head the fact that they do have to do the tiebreaker round and that it would be riley and james doing it in the break between seeing all the Bee Troopers audition and plus James, um, we'd see Alden reading the Dance Captain Diary. So obviously in some time before, no, in between the last episode and this episode, Riley would have given it to him. Um, and Rochelle, when she does her audition to maybe replace Chloe, she really does choke in with her nerves. Um, she falls out of turns, she messes up some things and she'd really stress out and probably like run out of the studio or something, which is very uncharacteristic for Rochelle. But I just would have really liked some more development because no one is as perfect as Rochelle. Like I know she's been injured and she's had some low moments, but I really would have liked to see her have some moments where she's just very embarrassed especially because she didn't make it after like Noah made the team instead of her she lost to Max the whole team voted against her and now she's messed up again when she has a second chance to make it on the team James would win against everybody and he would be the replacement for Chloe what, what? what? are you serious <laughs> yeah for real yeah. Yeah. I'm just I'm so happy because I finally have like my best friend back and everything just feels right again and at the end of the episode because Eldon has read the dance captain diary he'd go down and find Rochelle and basically just talk to her about how she's feeling and he just proved that he is a very mature um boy teenager lad person um when he wants to be and we'd see a nice a nice mature side to Eldon and we just see him being really wholesome with Rochelle and it'd be really nice so then Ella would come in the episode The New Girl in Town and instead of Giselle testing her dance captain skills on J Troop, Eldon would be doing it instead because I found Giselle to be quite out of character in this scene. She seemed a bit like dumb in a way and I feel like the, the situation would suit Alden a lot more and Rochelle in this episode instead of obviously having to give the diary to Alden because he's already got it um she would be trying to work on her personal confidence and just trying to get the moves I figured that maybe she could she could have failed an aerial or a back handspring or something like that and she's really it's kind of traumatized her and every time she tries to go into it now she can't do it so she has to really try and get over that fear and just get back to her old self so as Eldon is doing well as the dance captain when he starts to get quite cheesy over Talia and they start doing the notes and everything James would then say to him that dude you haven't even got to 30 pirouettes yet and yet you're trying to be a good dance captain and people are already coming along to the idea and stuff when you get to 30 pirouettes, I'll let you um, be cheesy over Talia. So it wouldn't be as just sudden as, oh, Eldon, you can't be with Talia because you haven't got 30 pirouettes. It'd be like you set a goal for yourself and now you've lost sight of that goal because you've got involved with Talia now. Um, so once you get 30 pirouettes, then focus on your romantic relationships and stuff. I feel like that would have been a bit better so that is what would happen in the square dance episode daniel would be really annoyed and very against doing square dancing he doesn't get it he doesn't want to be on the international stage doing square dancing when he wants to be seen as a professional contemporary dancer like he doesn't mind doing some hip-hop sections in dances or doing some acro or doing a different style of dance but square dancing he just doesn't like he doesn't think it'd do anything for his career he'd debate how serious internationals is and obviously because he said previously he's losing the love for competitive competitive dancing and he just wants to make a name for himself now um he'd really debate whether this is the time for him to leave the team and obviously because of that 
The consequences of Riley and Ella messing around and creating this fake genre of dance that they have to try and learn would be even more catastrophic because Daniel leaves the team this episode all because they do square dancing and the, it's not even a real round at internationals and I feel like this would be even better for Riley's development and Ella's development because Riley was supposed to be the dance captain before Alden was chosen and a good dance captain shouldn't be doing that, do you know what I mean? So that would give James even more ammunition to be mad at Riley and say that Ella's been a bad influence on her. You're missing the point. No, that's exactly the point. We all have so much else to be worrying about. And she does this? When Elton and Noah battle, um, you know, because Noah's like, oh, I can already do 30 pirouettes, it would be a lot less aggravated, I don't a lot less angsty and it'd be more like Noah really looks up to Elden so he tries to help him with different things because he's the dance captain as well um, and then their duet at the end would be a lot more like Noah's learning from Elden rather than look how good Noah is despite his age. So instead of having the plot about all the notes between Talia and Elden I would really like it if Elden was the one who spoke to Michelle about the parents divorce and how she's feeling instead of Sierra. Once again we'd see a more mature side to Elden like he can be mature if he wants to be and he just say about his own personal experience that like maybe his parents had divorced as well and he never told Michelle that maybe he lied and said that his dad was at work when actually he was he just didn't even live with them or something like that and you'd also see that Riley and James are bothered about something clearly because their chemistry is a bit off when they're rehearsing for flying um so he he'd be on a roll with helping people with their issues and solving problems so he'd go and tell Lucian that he's concerned about James and Riley's chemistry um, and that would foreshadow something that happens later on. Just a little note, all of the scenes where Kate is like talking to the dancers and stuff that would be Lucian instead. Also in this episode Daniel would have a video chat with Chloe just seeing how she's getting on and she said that she has no regrets about leaving because this is definitely the right decision, she couldn't be a competitive dancer all her life and now she's actually making something for herself and that would solidify Daniel's decision to leave so like I said for the square dance episode that would be where Daniel really contemplates leaving and this episode is where he actually tells Lucy and Kate and Phoebe that he is going to go. Rochelle would do her let's go solo in this episode and Daniel would walk in on her and ask if she's going to re-audition for A Troop one day um, hoping that if he leaves Rochelle could maybe take his place because he really likes Rochelle um, and she'd deny it and she'd freak out about it she'd probably start crying or something because she doesn't want to think about it and Daniel would hug her and say it's all right um, which would be really nice I think because it's like we want Rochelle to have these opportunities but she just clearly isn't ready to do it yet so when she does do it in season four we'd be even more rooting for her and we'd be really happy when she does make A Troop. So at the end of the episode Daniel would go into Kate, Phoebe and Lucian's office and say that he is going to leave A Troop and instead he's going to start auditioning for things, he wants to make a name for himself not as a competitive dancer. Um, Lucian would be absolutely fuming because he's obviously submitted the list of names now for the dancers which means they're going to have to use one of their alternates as a main dancer um, and but Kate and Phoebe would be happy. So the alternates are Michelle and Amanda, I forgot to say that Michelle was still the alternate but yeah. So Lucian would call Amanda in and tell her that she's not going to be an alternate anymore and she is going to replace Daniel on the main team and he says that she didn't even deserve to be the alternate in the first place which would be a softer side to Lucian. Yeah Amanda never even deserved to be the alternate so I'd just be glad overall that she wasn't made it. So then TNS do get to internationals and instead of Giselle helping Kate with the forms it would be Kate and Lucian sorting everything out. When Phoebe tells Skylet and Rochelle that they have to send good vibes to TNS, um, it would instead be Phoebe helping Rochelle with her anxiety and getting over her stage fright and dealing with this um, bad experience that she's had with dance and just trying to help her get back on track before the season ends. The way that Phoebe does it for Rochelle is being very, very strict on her and shouting and being very in her head because that's how Rochelle responds better. And Phoebe will admit herself that she's learned a lot from Lucian's style of teaching because that's how he teaches and she, she'd probably say something like if Lucian didn't come to the studio she probably wouldn't be able to help Rochelle as effectively. When Ella steals Riley's solo at internationals Alden would confront her very angrily about it and I figured that Ella would really realise that she's messed up because she'd never seen Alden act this way before um, and it would just show an even more mature side to him. So everyone watching would be rooting for Alden and they'd be like yes 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 this is a new Alden we love um, and he'd really make Ella feel bad and very regretful. Instead of Giselle stepping up to replace Riley going out on stage, I'd even want Riley to go out and just improvise because I, I did just want to see Riley dance. Um, but 
the thing that I would do is have Amanda volunteer in Riley's place because obviously they had that scene bonding and working on that acro so they didn't have to be made the alternates. Um, so Amanda would be like, hey, I think I really need to do this for myself and I'd like to step up and be in Riley's place. And Riley would be like, yes, that is a great idea. So she'd say she wants Amanda to replace her. So Amanda would go out and she did this brilliant solo. Um, she wouldn't have an extravagant costume or anything. It'd just be like a leotard. Um, she wouldn't have that many acro tricks in it because she can't do much acro but it would be amazing and Kate would realise that acro isn't everything and that she really overlooked Amanda so she'd apologise to her when she comes off stage and even though Ella still wins Amanda would be very proud of herself and it would be a big um, she's overcome a lot of things with that um, and my battery just died so the lighting's probably different now but anyway let's carry on so instead of Lucian being made a judge at internationals and that being a big plot twist he'd obviously still be the studio head of the next step so instead of this um, I'd have TNS told that they haven't been registered for a tiebreaker round they've literally only been scheduled for the specific ones not the actual ones in case of a tie Kate would get them to check because Lucian is nowhere to be found yet and they'd say that James and Riley's names were um, submitted to do the potential duet but then it, they were removed afterwards and Eldon would then remember that he told Lucian that James and Riley's chemistry was a bit off so immediately he feels really really guilty and thinks that this is all his fault everyone would be annoyed at Eldon for not having faith in James and Riley even though Eldon was like perfectly in the right to do what he did um, but that would really get Eldon down because he's had such a high proving himself as dance captain and now he's just nearly ruined internationals for them um, so Kate would just tell them to rehearse anyway and they'll try and find a loophole because obviously at nationals they found the loophole with how Amanda could still dance with them because her name was previously registered um, so she says James Riley go get your costumes on and just rehearse and hopefully it'll all work out fine Sweden would then step out on stage and Lucian is still nowhere to be found so Kate is like he's definitely done this on purpose um, he's abandoned the next step at the last minute just to see us fail and go under um, so Sweden are out on stage um, and then they'll hear Lucian's voice over the intercom from the judging panel and everyone is like what is happening um, and they'd hear Lucian basically saying I'm really sorry the next step I messed up um, I forgot to submit the things but he found a loophole and he proudly presents James and Riley representing the next step in the tiebreaker round we won't know what the loophole is but we just know that Lucian has found it um, so James and Riley like get themselves prepared they shake it all off they walk out on the stage and they do their duet really nicely Lucian would then come backstage and he'd put his arm around Kate and she'd probably like shrug him off but then she'd like accept it eventually like they, their relationship would come to a nice ending so he'd have his arm around Kate and I figured that he'd do that French accent that she hates just to finish off their scenes for the season and he'd probably say that the loophole was that because he had submitted James and Riley's names they technically were submitted even though he submitted another one they didn't void the first form so both of them still counted technically like it, it would literally be such a technical loophole um, but they'd let James and Riley compete and then the next step would win and everything from then can happen exactly the same. Lucian would now obviously have a successful studio with the next step um, so he'd remain studio head in season four so once he sees that the majority of age group are leaving and trying to go into things new he'd also realize that he's now taken a studio successfully to regionals nationals and internationals um, so he's like hey I want to like do this for elite now not just the next step so he says that he's going to go back to elite and try and put in place what he learned with the next step into his own studio and he can make it like to internationals once again so he leaves and he says to Kate that she can have the studio back which would be so good for Kate because obviously it was her mom's studio originally so she'd be super super happy but then she'd get the offer to go to England and be a judge so then she'd give the studio to Riley and from then everything literally is the same so yes this was a long video but I hope you enjoyed it leave a like down below and comment anything that you think might have happened as a consequence to this uh, if I missed anything out uh, also let me know what you thought of my plot and make sure you subscribe and I will see you on Wednesday for a new video guys bye